Let's bring Mr. Tolio out, please. Adrian, I'll poll the jury. You just announced the verdict. may be seated. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been notified that the jury has reached a verdict. Before we bring the jury into the courtroom, I would like to say a few things. For those of you who are present here in the courtroom, the jury's job is very hard, and this has been a very difficult case. I'm fully aware that this is an emotional case and that a lot is at stake. I also know that sometimes emotions overcome self-control and discipline. I don't know the outcome of this case, but we're about to find out. I want to urge everyone in the courtroom to keep your emotions in check and not express any emotions during the reading of the verdict. If you don't believe that you can control yourself during this process, I ask you to leave at this time. This is a court of law which requires the proceedings to be conducted in an orderly and dignified manner. You must conduct yourselves accordingly. Bring the jury in. You may be seated. Thank you very much. You are number 105. I've been informed that you have a verdict. Is that true? Would you please hand the verdict to the bailiff? The verdict appears to be in proper order. Will the defendant please rise, face the jury, and hearken to the verdict? Madam Clerk, publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the 7th Judicial Circuit and in Fort St. Jones County, Florida, State of Florida v. Moore's Toledo, case number 2013, 102888, CFDF. Verdict. Count one. Count one. Murder of Michael Elijah Otto. We the jury find the defendant Louis Toledo as the count one of the indictment as follows. Guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. Count two, first degree murder of Thalia Otto. We the jury find the defendant Louis Toledo as the count two of the indictment as follows. Guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. Count three, second degree murder of Justine Warren. We the jury find the defendant Louis Toledo as Thank you. You are 105. Is the verdict was published? Your verdict. Your number 132. Is the verdict is published? Your verdict. Your number 130. Your number 26. Is the verdict was published? Your verdict. Yes, it did. Your number 160. Is the verdict is published? Your verdict. Yes. Your number 93. Is the verdict is published? Your verdict. Yes. Your number 100. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Your number 152. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Your number 45. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Yes. Your number 76. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Yes. Your number 62. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Yes. Your number 44. Is the verdict is published your verdict? Yes. Your number 132. 137. Is the verdict as published your verdict? Yes. Okay, thank you. You may have a seat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, based upon your verdict, you'll be required to return to the courthouse uh, next Wednesday at 9 a.m. for the second phase of this, of this trial. Um, I continue to give you the same instruction as I have given to you before. Now, you're going to have a few days open between now and Wednesday, so it's very, very important that you do not become exposed to any media uh, coverage of the case. You do not do any investigation of the case. Do not talk to anyone about the case um, until we return, okay? And then uh, at the time, I'll have some additional instructions for you. Um, at this time, I'll go ahead and release you to the bailiffs. We'll take you back to the jury room.
Okay, at this time, Mr. Toledo, I'll remind you to the custody of the sheriff to be taken into custody on the charges and hold you in no bond until we have uh, the second penalty of uh, uh, phase of this trial. Uh, we need to schedule, uh, I guess, some depositions, and we need to handle some motions. It's my intent to either convene on Tuesday and arrange for all those things to take care of. Um, would that work out, or are you planning to take depositions on Tuesday? We have some scheduled for Monday already for the defense experts, and I know that our uh, experts would like to take an examination of the defendant, I think, Monday as well. So everything is scheduled for Monday? I think so at this point, Your Honor. All right. Okay, then I think we need to meet together uh, maybe after after this logistically to talk how are we going to uh, map out our next week uh, because my intent to try to get the case done before before the end of Friday, the end of business Friday. So uh, before you leave, we'll sit down and discuss as far as how to proceed from here. We do, um, need, we do need you, Judge, to sign the order. We filed the motion. I have it right here. Yes, sir. So we can proceed forward with that on Monday. All right. So is there anything else we need to address at this point in time on the record before we uh, adjourn? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right. If counsel remain uh, so we can discuss some of the logistics of next week, yes, sir. and then the defendant needs to be uh, taken at this time. This counsel come out in the back, okay? Huh? In the back, yeah. <clears throat> Don't leave just yet. Why don't you come back? What do you want to say? Okay, we'll have to sit down. I want you to still talk to your lawyers. Well, you know, you may be making that decision based upon emotions right now. You really need to talk to your lawyers, and then I'll have it. I'll have a time where I'll sit down with you, and then we will discuss this matter at length, so I can explain to you what the ramifications of your decisions are. I don't want you to make that decision right now. Okay, so I want you to sit down, meet with them, talk to them, and then have questions for me. And then we will have a moment where we will sit down and discuss this matter, okay? Right now is not the time. All right, go ahead and remove it. <clears throat>